Hello and welcome to Prep Playbook Preview Edition. I'm Jim Rapier. Today we'll be looking ahead to some of the great games in Week 10 of the high school football season. Joining me now via Skype from the North Shore is Jim Derry. How's it going, Jim? You ready to take a look ahead at some of Week 10's games? Going great, Jim. It's hard to believe it's the final week of the regular season. All right, let's jump right into it. Here we go. One matchup that will not be lacking in intensity considering the area as well as district rivalry is Destrehan versus East St. John. What do you think? Well, I think that East St. John's going to give it everything they can and, and hopes to, to stop this train they call Destrehan. But I, I just, you know, Destrehan is playing with such focus. They're one of 12 undefeated teams in the state, uh, and they are for a reason because they've been fantastic this season. And, uh, you know, they, they win this game to, to win the district outright and, and uh, to clinch a top three seed. And uh, I, think, I think there's not much that's going to be able to stop them from doing that. All right, let's turn to the North Shore. There's another rivalry game in District 6-5A, this time pitting Mandeville against Covington. What's your take on this matchup? Uh, you know, it's interesting. Mandeville, just another ho-hum, possibly seven-win season if they can win this one. But, uh, you know, after a one-and-three start, people were writing them off, and they've come on to win uh, six, uh, five games in a row. I'm sorry, they're, they're six and three. And, uh, you know, Park Rogeron was injured the first, the first few games of the season. Since he's been back, they've... They've been pretty good. They're they're five and one since he's come back, uh, and uh, you know Covington on the other side they have a chance to have uh, two guys combined for for two thousand yards rushing and freshman Devin, Devin Brunfield and Josh Bickham. Uh, you know St. Paul's coach Ken Sears called them the Killer Bees a couple weeks ago, and they are two fantastic running backs. So this rivalry is intense. Uh, it's it's a big deal, and uh, it's it's at Covington this year. So. I expect it to be a really close game, and, and Mandeville's uh, looking to to uh, finish with one district loss, and they, they can have a possibly a home game in the playoffs. That should be good for them if they're able to pull that off. Okay, Jim, Warren Easton has clinched at least a share of the District 9 for a title. It has to get past Carr this week to grab the honors outright. How's that look? You know, as, as great as Easton has played the past few weeks, you, you know, it's tough when you get to – Here's their chance to clinch the, the, the district outright and win it all. And Carr's a team with a lot of experience, been in the Dome four straight years, uh, and there's a reason for it. And when you get, I said this before, but when you get to this time of year uh, and you got that experience, that means a lot. And they're going to they're gonna have their hands full with a, with a Deshaun Caper Smith. You know, he, can, he needs 310 yards to, uh, to crack, 320 yards to crack the 3,000 yard passing barrier this season. So he's going to. I'm sure he's going to be out to do that, the state's uh, leading passer. It's going to be an interesting game, and uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I, I, I think it's going to be very intense. Uh, keep the fans on the edge of their seats. All right, last but certainly not least is another clash of Catholic League Titans this year when Brother Martin looks to take on or take down, excuse me, undefeated Rummel. Jim, what should fans expect with this one? Well, I think if, uh, if the kids over on Bank Street uh, could come over and help Brother Martin win this week, they would. You know, it, it's interesting. Brother Martin, uh, very tight game. They've been playing very good defense, and they're going to need to be on their A game to stop Rumble this week. I, I expect a low scoring, very intense game. Uh, obviously, uh, as well as Rumble's played and is still undefeated, uh, Brother Martin has a chance to, uh, to knock them down and finish 9 and 1, and they could both finish 9 and 1 and create a three way tie for. The Catholic League title. So, Rumble's going to get everything Brother Martin's got this week, and I think it's going to be a very interesting game. And definitely two teams to keep your eye on in the postseason. All right, well, that's a look at a few games and what looks to be a great schedule for Week 10. It seems there's enough big games for just about everybody. Thanks for giving us some input, Jim. And look, hey, it's a banner, it's a banner week. Uh, the Cubs have a new manager, and, uh, you know, anything can happen. Well, good luck to the Cubs and good luck to Joe Madden. And don't forget, you can follow all of Jim's work as well as all of our writers at highschoolsports.nola.com. Well, that's all for this edition of Prep Playbook. Remember to check out Prep Playbook Review Edition on Monday when we look back at some of the week's big games. For Jim Derry, I'm Jim Rapier. Thanks for clicking on us. We'll see you again next week.